Hi everyone, I'm glad to see you on my channel. My name is Inna and I'm a nail master. On my channel you can find many beautiful nail designs and step-by-step -step master classes. So subscribe not to miss new videos. Today I'm working with these hands. This was my work and the coating here is just over a month old. The coating was holding very good. The white line is not faded, not cracked, it pleases. I remove the old material, correct the length. I remove the length as much as the old coating has grown. I do not remove the old material completely. It is in good condition, there are no detachments, so I don't see the point in filing up to a natural nail. I leave the old material in a thin layer, as a basis for the next coating. I use a nail file to shape the free edge. I pass the nail file on the surface, removing the gloss from the overgrown part of the nail plate. Now the manicure. I move the cuticle aside with a pusher and open the subcuticle pocket. I clean it with a bit. I work with a reverse mode. I constantly pull the cuticle up with my finger to see what I'm cleaning and how much there is pterygium left. I work with the cheek of the bit, so I move the tool a little at an angle. I also need to clean up the dust constantly, so as not to mix it up with the dry skin. I cut off the cuticle with scissors. I polish the cut and remove the remaining small hangnails with a ball bead.
I apply a primer to the prepared nails. The primer is dry. I apply a primer layer the base coat and drop the material into the surface of the nail. We will make a design with a fill. I need a transparent gel. I apply a thin layer on the surface of the nail, but I do not treat the cuticle and the sides by literally 1 mm. I apply a film to each nail. I use an orange stick to pick up the wrinkles. I remove the film. I need a silver nail powder. I rub it directly on the sticky layer of the gel. I rub it carefully into the wrinkles, and it's better to go through with the finger twice. I shake off the excess with a brush. I apply a strengthening layer of gel. Now I apply the usual strengthening layer right on top of all these wrinkles. If I can't make the even surface, it's ok, I will level it with a file later. I file, align the nail edge and make it thin. I clean up the dust. The client likes the pink color and its shades, and today is no exception. I apply the color of the cuticle with a gradient brush. I stretch the color to the middle of the nail, gradually reducing it to a minimum. I do all the same on the second layer. At the cuticle I make the shade denser and even it out with a thin brush. I cover all nails with a top coat. And here is the result. It's actually a very simple design. It looks interesting even without the color, like ice cubes. The edges look very attractive. You want to look at them in more detail. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. If so, I'm waiting for likes, I will be very pleased. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are many interesting videos ahead. And click the bell not to miss any new ones. That's all for today. All the best and have a good day. Bye bye. Stories are